Hey everybody, it's Patrick. It is Tuesday afternoon, and as I have said before, Tuesdays are when I have decided to post uh, videos about hair. Um, I've kind of trapped myself a little bit with that uh, because I really don't know <laughs> um, how many hair tips, techniques, things that I've learned uh, I can share with you, but today I did a little bit of research and um, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, statements and things from people uh, who are growing out their hair that talk a lot about shampoo and conditioner. I talked about conditioner uh, a while ago and how that works. Um, so I decided that I would do a little bit of research into how shampoo works uh, because I see a lot of people uh, posting our, our questions about uh, should I use shampoo, um, should I go with something more natural, um, and a lot of people say that they want to use a natural product like baking soda. Um, the first thing I want to tell you before I get into the little science bit, I even I even made some uh, visual aids for this because that's what I do. If anybody remembers my earlier video where uh, I talked about what hair is made out of, I actually made all these little stupid things. This, this is going to be a ridiculous video, just just so you know. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, with the conditioner one, uh, I, I talked a little bit about what baking soda and uh, vinegar do. Um, it basically has to do with the pH balance in your hair. But I keep seeing this, uh, this thing where people say, I want to use something natural like baking soda. And I do want you to know that baking soda is not a natural product. In fact, Baking soda is one of the most um, manufactured, chemically created products you can have out there. It is food safe. It is safe for you to eat in small quantities, but it can be very, very harsh. In fact, you can use it to uh, to clean an oven. You know, you can. It's very abrasive. You need to dilute it a whole lot. And the way that it works, the way that baking soda works, is um, what it does is it changes the pH balance of your hair so that the follicles, um, the, the little covering on top of your hair follicles, it opens them up. The pH balance, usually if the pH balance is more acidic, it, they close and whatever is underneath them, say any sort of grease or any sort of dirt, gets trapped. Uh, what baking soda does is it opens them up and then it, you can wash that away. It also has um, a bit of an effect on dirt uh, and grease in that it will actually transform that and make it easier to wash off. But that's not really a tremendously effective way to wash your hair, especially if you have the oily hair. Um, I tend to have uh, hair that it starts out fairly dry. Uh, this is one uh, one day after wash. I washed it last night. It feels a little bit dry. It's getting to the point where the natural oil is coming down from my scalp. And as I brush it tonight, tomorrow will be the best day because the natural oil comes down. Anyway, so how does regular shampoo work? And why might you want to use something that is considered uh, less natural? Um, I'm not advocating to use something that's not all natural, but you do need to have something in your shampoo if you're trying to get rid of uh, oil, the natural oils that can accumulate and make your hair feel dirty. Um, you do need something that will uh, help clean that. And how shampoo or other uh, detergent, uh, detergent actives in, uh, uh, in washing products work is they have something called uh, surfactants or surfactants. Um, what these are are little molecules um, and uh, they have two ends. Uh, one end is hydrophobic. Uh, phobic means that it's um, it's averse to. So it hydro means water. So hydrophobic means it doesn't like water. And the other end, which is uh, a small thing on top, loves water. Hydrophilic. Um, so it means it loves water. So I've made this is basically um, what a surfactant would look like. Something that loves water, and he's sitting up on top, and then something that doesn't like water, which is down below. Um, and what happens when you uh, wash your hair, or wash anything that has a detergent with uh, surfactants in it, um, if you have dirt or grease or something that sticks um, to your hair, to your clothes, to yourself, if that if this is your piece of grease right here, it is, it is stuck onto the hair follicle, let's say. Now, grease especially is also hydrophobic. It does not like water. So when you rinse, when you just rinse your hair, the water just goes right over it because it repels that water. What surfactants do is 
they'll come along and they don't like water either. And they're going to stick themselves that long bit right into that grease or the oil or the dirt. So you get a number of those guys that are sticking all over this piece of dirt or grease or whatever. Now, what's sticking to it is the hydrophobic part. So it's not it's not attracted to the water, it's attracted to something that's in that that's not water. Now, after you've lathered, there's other uh, elements that work in there. This is just for this part of the uh, demonstration. Um, after you've done uh, washing, uh, what happens is then you rinse. And then these hydrophilic parts, the ones that actually love the water, like ducks, um, they go and attach themselves to the water as it's flo floating away and they pull the grease off with them because this has now been just covered with all of these little guys, like, like covered with these guys. So there's so many of them that they just pull each piece away because there's a million of these surfactants and they pull that away. So if you are uh, listening to a lot of people who say they want all natural products that keep their hair uh, clean, just remember that uh, the chemicals that are in uh, shampoos actually do have a function and um, I'm not like I said I don't have uh, any problems with people who want to have an all-natural lifestyle um, that uh, want to avoid chemicals but if you are saying I want to use baking soda and apple cider vinegar um, you're just advocating for food grade products in your hair which is fine but just because it's food grade does not mean that it is natural uh, otherwise, you could wash your hair with Twinkies. And just because it's natural doesn't mean that it's very effective. So um, that was your little science uh, bit for today. Um, I got to play with rubber ducks, which always makes me happy. And uh, I actually fulfilled a hair requirement for a Tuesday afternoon. Now, as I continue to sweat because it's very hot here in Boston today, I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful week. I will talk to you soon.